Tonight, the governor delivering his state of the state address. For the first time, it was virtual, delivered on his YouTube page. In what he calls unprecedented and historically challenging times, his biggest priority is getting Nevada to the other side of the COVID-19 pandemic, which he calls a health, economic, and fiscal crisis. After taking his mask off, the governor outlined his priorities and plans to achieve them, starting with his biggest goal, winning the battle against COVID-19. Every Nevadan has been impacted by the COVID outbreak. Whether you've lost a job, had to learn from home, missed a graduation, grappled with keeping your small business open, or been unable to visit family for birthdays and holidays or in a hospital room. This disease has touched us all. During the pandemic, more than a quarter of a million people in our state have tested positive for the virus. The governor says in order to reverse the trend and overcome COVID-19, Every Nevadan should be vaccinated, and the state is doing everything it can to make that happen. We're expanding our vaccination workforce to include EMS providers, medical assistants, pharmacy techs, dentists, veterinarians, and more. As soon as it appears that Nevada is on the other side of the pandemic, Governor Sisolak wants students back in the classroom. I have not been quiet about my urgent desire to see children return to in-person learning because we will not recover as a state if we leave our children behind. In order to make that happen, he's pledging PPE supplied by the state, prioritizing educators for vaccines, and ensuring COVID testing. His third priority, getting the economy back on track and people back to work. We have worked hard to balance protecting the public health while doing everything we can to keep the economy afloat and our businesses open. But the fact remains that our state and our people have suffered in ways none of us could have imagined a year ago. In the first months of the pandemic, more than a quarter of a million Nevadans were laid off. The governor predicting many of those jobs lost will not come back. He aims to expand the economy to other sectors to create new jobs, especially in renewable energy. He also pledged an additional $50 million to small businesses and wants to take $100 million from the rainy day fund saying, quote, if our current situation isn't considered a downpour, I can't imagine what would be. But he ended on a positive note saying he is optimistic about the future, closing his speech with let's get back to work.